Welcome to Slide Bazaar's PowerPoint for Pros, a video series that will help you become better at PowerPoint. In this video, let's learn how to design a brochure in PowerPoint. But before that, check out Slide Bazaar's free PowerPoint add-in to get presentation templates, themes, and other design tools, along with an AI-powered presentation creator. Check out the add-in for free using the link in the description. All right, let's move on to the video. Not many people know this, but PowerPoint can be used to design a lot more than just presentations. You can create social media posts, certificates, YouTube thumbnails, and a lot more. Once you know the basics of designing in PowerPoint, you can create almost anything you want on it. Let's take a look at how you can design a brochure in PowerPoint. And the brochure that we're going to design today looks like this. As you can see, it has an effect that makes it look like it has been folded twice. Let's start designing this. Begin by adding a rectangular shape as shown. You can go to insert and then shapes to do this. Draw a shape over the slide like this and then press Ctrl and drag it to duplicate it. Create two duplicates and place them side by side. Now select them all by pressing Ctrl plus A and group them by pressing Ctrl plus G. Once grouped, drag the handles on the right side to extend the shape until it covers the whole slide. Once done, you can ungroup the shape by pressing Ctrl plus Shift and G. Right click the slide, go to Grid and Guides and turn on the guides on your slide. These guides will help you design better. Move the vertical guides to align them with the lines created by the rectangular shapes. Then hold Ctrl and drag the lines again to duplicate them and position them on the far right and left side of the slide. Similarly, duplicate the horizontal guides as well and place them above and below to create margins for your design. Do the same to create margins for the left and right side as well. Pay attention to the tiny numbers when you drag the guides as they will help you place them equidistant from the center. Finally, place two guides on the left side and right side of the two middle vertical guides as well, as shown here. Now that you've finished creating the guides, right-click the shape, go to Format Shape and set the color you want. Set the line of the shapes as no outline as well. Then duplicate the slide by right-clicking on the slide on the left or just by selecting it and pressing Ctrl plus D. Now on the first slide, right click on the shape on the right and click on edit points. Doing this allows you to manipulate the shape by moving one of the corner points. Drag the upper left and upper right corners of the third shape as shown to create this shape. Change the color of the shape in the middle to white. Once that is done, Carefully add your text to the slides by paying close attention to the margins. Insert text by going to Insert and clicking on Text Box and add text onto the shapes so that they do not overlap with the margins. Be sure to choose a font color that has a good contrast with the background color of your slide. For now, I am copying text from a different source just to save time. Add your brand logos and name if needed and use the guides to position them properly on your slide. Add the remaining text onto the slide and add appropriate images as well. Before we move on, let me also show you how I made the images look like this. Insert a shape and then right click on it and go to format picture. In the fill section, add a picture and the line section, select no line. Then go to the effects section and under shadow, apply a shadow. Change the transparency to zero, adjust the color, size and blur of the shadow and tweak the angle and distance to get the desired effect. That's all you need to do. Your brochure is finally starting to take shape. To get the page effect as shown here, here's what you need to do. First go to insert and draw a rectangular shape onto the slide as shown. 
go to format shape and select line as no line. Under fill, select gradient fill and choose type as linear and select direction as linear left. Now adjust the gradient stops to make the shape appear darker in the middle. Select the far right and left gradients and increase the transparency to make them blend to the background of the slide. Make fine adjustments and you'll get something like this. So there you have it, a quick tutorial on creating a brochure in PowerPoint. Feel free to use this video as a help guide to make your own designs. Once you're done with your brochure design, you can simply print it by pressing Ctrl plus P or save it as a PDF file by selecting Microsoft Print to PDF under the Printer section and clicking on Print. If you found this video helpful, subscribe to the channel and check out our entire PowerPoint for Pros playlist. Don't forget to check out the Slide Bazaar add-in linked in the description.